Thanks very much, Coriate. And it's great to be back in uh, Birmingham and to be here with uh, my, my colleagues from, from MasterCard and inclusion and making sure that as we come out of this crisis, that our recovery is inclusive of everybody. $500 million to address the racial wealth and opportunity gap across America, initially focusing on seven cities. And Birmingham, of course, at the top of that list. So. Uh, I want to thank Ursula too for allowing us to be in her studio today. Many organizations took a look inside themselves and this conversation wasn't just had at the kitchen table, it wasn't just had at home or in the classroom or on, on, in forums online, but it was held at the C-suite level, it was held at the boardroom. And I'm glad to know an organization like MasterCard said, let's pause, let's reflect, what can we do? Let's not just talk about it. Let's put our money where our mouth is and let's put commitment and resources on the ground to change this conversation. We are thrilled that this initiative is gonna support our small business community and bring them into the fully digital economy to meet the needs of their consumers who are digital first and digital centric. So making these small businesses relevant to the audiences and communities in which they serve is now more important than ever in our post-pandemic environment. Small businesses represent 99% of all businesses in the United States. So that means small business is big business. And they employ 60 million people. So it's no surprise that it is our priority to give these institutions the tools and the capabilities they need to not only survive, but to thrive for the long term. And as the mother of a dancer, I know how difficult that is. I know firsthand I felt an immediate connection to Ursula because her dedication to her students and to this community is what is going to bring it back in a sustainable way. So it gives me great privilege and pleasure to announce our host, Miss Ursula Smith. I was already crying last night, but um, I'm going to be brief, you guys. But um, I just want to say, first of all, thank you to MasterCard for this great resource. And I'm going to tell you the importance of why it's so important. I want to say thank you, Mayor Woodman, and your team for making it possible and you bringing this great resource here in uh, Birmingham. You know, entrepreneur life is not easy. It requires faith as a lifestyle and not faith for a moment. You have to have the capacity and the ability to withstand rejection, lack of resources, and just overall opposition adversity. So as of February 1st of 2020, I opened the door in this historic, legendary building, A.G. Gaston, one of our first million of black billionaires here in um, Birmingham, right? with high hopes of impacting my community and stretching my capacity to reach children, youth, and adults. Literally, March 13th of 2020, I had to shut my doors. And I was telling Miss, I was telling some, some of the people, I was like, you know, I stood right there where you were standing. And my parents looked me in my face and they said, Ursula, is this real? And I was like, well, I don't know, let's just see. And then you literally see the world crash and the world close down. Now, did I cry? Yes. But I quickly, I said, we're going to digital. Didn't know anything about it, but I had got creative. I could not bear the hurt on my baby's faces. I deal with age from ages three years old through adults. We immediately went digital. So you mean to tell me, this is what I was doing. I was taking, being creative, transforming homes. They're there every day. And I had to pull them out for 45 minutes, two, three times a week and, 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 and be creative to where it didn't feel like home. The 127 virtual classes, rehearsals from ages three through adults. I also became a film director, right? So what we normally would do in the theater, I had to pivot and make a film. That's what you see back there. We called it, I did a spin on my brown sugar nut crack. We did a spin on it. We called it Brown Sugar in the Magic City. It was good. 
But I want to tell you, I think I told you, Mayor, I, thought, I think I told you, I said, now, we ain't have a film for me now. We just literally, you know, like have pop-up shops? We were just popping up over the city. I was like, okay, y'all, y'all meet me here, and we're going to film. But I literally navigated 76 children, youth, and adults through the city of Birmingham, highlighted the historic historical points of Birmingham from the Civil Rights District, letting them know what the children marched meant. From the Vulcan, from the high point of our city, to Sardis Baptist Church. Even, even in this establishment where Jesse Jackson and Martin Luther King would have meetings. This building that we're in is legendary in itself. Dr. A.G. Gaston employed almost 400 people. You had Walgreens, First Black Bank, uh, Citizens Trust, uh, uh, Booker T. Washington um, Insurance Company, all of those things which I feel like I'm a thread of that legacy today by making an impact for generations to come. Now, I just want to close because you guys feel my passion because as a small business uh, owner, a black female small business owner, we are the thread and the makeup and the heartbeat of the city. So if we're lacking resources and ability to pivot, the product and services are not the issue. It's the capital, access to capital, access to wealth, so we can build a legacy, not just for our city, but for our families, our children, and our children's children. So I thank you, MasterCard. I, I find it not strange that you are pivoting to this place where businesses, black-owned businesses, have been able to be catapulted from this very building. So it's all significant today. I'd like to thank you for your time, Ms. Linda. Everybody's involved, MasterCard. Mayor Wolfman, thank you so much because you guys did not have to choose me. But I thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell my story and to be a light and uh, continue to be an impact to my community. Thank you so much.